Okay, hello everyone. Um, I was trying to set up the uh, TLR46A software to work on my Windows 10 computer today. Um, I was going to do a TPS calibration on the 914 that we have just overhauled. Um, but I was experiencing lots of trouble getting the software and everything to work uh, on a newer computer. So I obviously uh, went through all the Googling searching and I uh, ended up on the Rotex owner forum and I luckily found a recent post there where um, some guy had ex been experiencing the same problems that I had. So I simply followed his advice after countless of hours of struggling uh, and and uh, luckily enough it, it turned out perfect and I'll show you the easy steps here. So once you've plugged in your RS-232 to USB serial converter you want to go to My Computer Properties and into the Device Manager. Then you'll look for your ports or comms. You would want to open that, expand it, and then you'll find your USB to serial converter. So it's set for COM1 now, but make sure that you go into Properties again, Port Settings, Advanced. And then what I do, at least, I disable the FIFO buffers, but here in COM port numbers, make sure to select COM1. Uh, I think you should be able to use COM2 as well, but I selected COM1. Press OK, OK, and you can close down. So the next thing that happened when I launched the TLR software was that uh, I was just getting uh, error messages. Um, the DOS box opened and I got an error 68 message. So basically what I ended up doing uh, was going to the folder uh, to my C drive, TLR46. And then uh, there's this Windows PowerShell file, which is named select COM port. So what you want to do is right click, run with PowerShell. And that will ask you which COM port to use. I simply selected COM1, select, done. Then I can just close my file explorer, launch the software. DOS box opens, boom, right in. So I hope that video um, made it easier to understand the uh, process of getting the TLR46A software to work on a newer Windows 10 computer because I sure had a tough time today. So thanks for watching and I hope it helps out. Cheers.